Good evening, everyone. Up to 200 years in prison. That's what possibly faces a town of Menasha man who stands accused of attempted murder. Made his first appearance in court today. Police say he tried to kill himself, his children, and his wife. The suspect is this man, 33-year-old Ryan Nikolkovich. And he's accused of beating and attempting to strangle his wife. Police then believe he put himself, his wife, and his children in a van with the garage door closed and the engine running. Fox 11's Lindsay Baramus has new details tonight. This man, 33-year-old Ryan Mikulkavich, faces six felony charges after he allegedly tried to kill his estranged wife, Lisa, and their children Wednesday night. I think anybody that's capable of committing these types of crimes against anyone, uh, not to mention their own children, as alleged, or his wife is not only a threat to these same people, but to the rest of the public as well. Mr. Mikkelkavich has resided in this area his entire life, and he has absolutely no prior history whatsoever. According to the criminal complaint, Mikkelkavich told police he found a text message to another man on his wife's phone and snapped. He could have been dealing with a homicide. Julie Favola with the Christine Ann Domestic Abuse Shelter says Lisa likely saved herself and her children by telling someone she was planning to return to the town of Menasha home the family shared. Court documents show Lisa had moved out the day before and asked Mikkelkavich for a divorce. She told police he beat and choked her until she lost consciousness. According to the criminal complaint, Mikkelkavich then put his wife and two children into the family van. Mikkelkavich told police he turned the van on inside this garage with the door closed. He told officers he knew that it was dangerous but wanted to end it all with his family together. Police found a suicide note reading, I flipped and did not want my kids to pay for her and my mistakes. I love you, my family, but I killed her and now must go too. Lisa told police she convinced her husband to let the family leave the van and go inside after she woke up. Minutes later, police arrived to check her welfare. Mikkelkavich is being held on a $300,000 cash bond. He faces up to 198 years in prison. Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. Lisa Mikkelkavich was treated at the Theta Clock Medical Center and then released. Her children were not harmed. Ryan Mikkelkavich will be back in court next Thursday.